Welcome to CNC Learn and Build. I'm Randy Johnson. In this series of videos, I'm going to show you how to use the Shark RS1000 Pro CNC router table to cut a variety of joints using the built-in apps. The RS1000 Pro comes with over a dozen joinery apps, and you can find links to all of them in the description below this video. It's also worth pointing out that all of the apps use the same basic nine steps. And I'll cover each of them in detail. But I think you'll find once you become familiar with them that operating the RS1000 Pro is pretty straightforward. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the RS1000 Pro to cut a biscuit joint. Installing the router bit is the first step. For standard biscuits, you need a 5-32nd inch diameter straight bit. I prefer a two-flute spiral end mill, but a straight fluted bit also works and costs a bit less. With the bit installed, open the setup screen and enter the bit diameter. There are a couple of places in the pendant where you can enter the bit diameter, but I find doing it right away is the most efficient. The bit diameter is also required when calibrating the fence, which is coming up shortly. Next, open the Apps menu and select the Touch Plate Calibration app at the top of the screen. I prefer to run the bit height calibration first because it eliminates a few moves later on. Verify the connection by touching the plate to the bit. You can now run the bit calibration. The bit will rise up until it touches the bottom of the plate and then retract down below the surface. Next, open the fence calibration option. Click through to the screen that has the white control button and press that button. This screen allows you to move the lift and the fence without going back to the main screen. Before calibrating the fence, it's important to rotate the bit so the flutes are 90 degrees to the fence. That way the high point of the flute is closest to the fence, which guarantees an accurate fence calibration. Rotating the flutes on a spiral bit is not as critical since they wrap around the bit, but I still do it as a best practice and a good setup habit. With the bit aligned to the fence, touch the plate to the bit to confirm the connection and then run the fence calibration routine. Once that's done, click back to the main screen and move the fence back and replace the insert ring. Now return to the apps menu and select the biscuit app. Opening the app shows a list of parameters that must be set up. I like to start at the bottom and work my way up. In this case, the first one is the speed setting for the lift and the fence. I'm using lumber that is fairly soft, so 10 inches per minute should work fine. The extra depth setting is next. I start with this at zero since I can add some later if needed. Setting the offset determines how far the center of the slot is located from the edge of the board. I'm centering the biscuit on this board, so I'm entering 1.75. Next, select the size of the biscuit you're using. In this case, I'm entering two since I'm using a number 20 biscuit. The bit diameter shown here is carried over from what I entered earlier, but it's important to double check it here before proceeding. Running the biscuit app requires a stop block to keep the material from moving during machining. For this setup, I'm positioning the stop block so the bit is aligned with the center of the stock.
It's a good idea to test run the setup and verify that the bit and the fence move as intended. You can see here how they move simultaneously to create the curved biscuit slot. If the test looks good, you're ready to make your first cut. In this case, I'm running the face cut first. The push block and a little pressure on the part is all it takes. The RS-1000 does the rest automatically. With the first cut done, press OK to reposition the fence for the next cut. The next cut is in the end grain, so I'm using the optional miter fence to hold the board upright, but a shot made sled also works. I added some sandpaper to the face of the fence to keep the board from slipping during routing, and it works surprisingly well. With both slots cut, check the fit. If the slots are too shallow, go back and add some depth and rerun the parts. If the fit looks good, you can run the rest of your parts. The biscuit app won't work in all situations and a biscuit joiner may be faster, but if you don't have a biscuit joiner, this app is an easy way to create biscuit joints for small projects. For links to other RS1000 Pro joinery apps, check out the links below this video.